And right now, we're getting back to draft prospects uh, for this June 26th mm -hmm. uh, NHL entry draft, 2009 NHL entry draft. Uh, played with the Ottawa 67s this season, was traded to the Guelph Storm, and uh, he's predicted to go uh, in the second or the third round. We're not really sure, but I guess we should ask him. We have Michael Latta from the Guelph Storm. Mike, how you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm okay, and uh, I wonder, uh, you know, I, I hope you're enjoying the off season. first of all. Um, we spoke to your housemate from uh, the Guelph Storm, Peter Holland, yeah, yeah. <laughs> about a month ago, and he talked about how you guys love Transformers. Uh, I wonder, have you guys seen the second installment yet? Uh, no, we, uh, we saw the first one together, but um, I haven't seen the second one yet. I'm dying to get out, but it's pretty busy around right now with the draft conference and stuff, so I'm sure, uh, I'm sure I'll make a trip up to Guelph and me, me and Holland will go see it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that little uh, draft thing that I guess would get in the way of movie time. Um, now, TSN recently released uh, their top 60 prospects, uh, you know, for the NHL entry draft this year. Um, you didn't uh, crack the top 60, but you did get the honorable mention category. Um, do you think that you deserve a little more credit than that? And if you do, uh, why? Uh, yeah, well, you know, it's always... I, you always think you're better than you are, but uh, I think I could, I could have made the crack, crack the, the top 60 there, but who knows, right? That's their ranking, and um, I'm hoping teams have different rankings and put me in the top 60 or 50 or 40 or wherever they see me. So, you know, TSN's been doing this for a long time, so I guess they know something, but uh, I'm just hoping uh, that uh, maybe some other teams have me a little higher. Well, and if you assembled a Michael Latta highlight package, you know, you'd have some goals, you'd have some assists, but I'd say a fair chunk of it would uh, feature scraps uh, you've had. Uh, and I wonder, uh, you know, and especially for our listeners, what kind of player are you? Would you say you're a checking line forward, an agitator, or maybe a, you know, a regular point producer with a mean streak? What would you say you are? Well, I, th uh, I think uh, the thing that about me is I can play all three roles. You know, if, uh, if you want me to go score a goal, you know, I'll do my best to do that. If you want me to go, go fight anyone, I'll, I'll do that for the team, you know. And if you want me to get on someone's skin, I can do that too. So I think that's one thing I got going for me. I can, I can play a little first line to fourth line so uh, you know uh that's what co my coach likes me for i think uh, i think he thinks that uh i'm the only player on the team that uh, has that ability and that's why he traded for me so you know it's a it's a compliment well you mentioned your coach in uh, guelph let's let's take a little turn to earlier in the season uh you're with the ottawa 67s and you're playing under uh i guess you could call him a living legend uh, brian kilray uh with the ottawa uh 67s here in his you know last year as coach and I, and I wonder, uh, you know, you being his pupil, I guess, for this season, um, wh what were some of the most important things Brian Kilray taught you in your junior career? Uh, killer, killer stress, hard work, you know, uh, hard work and honesty. I think if you, if you don't give a hard work and an honest effort, you know, didn't cheat and played your position, and did all the simple stuff, I think he uh, rewards you with ice time. You know, uh, he, he doesn't necessarily like all the flashy stuff, but, you know, if you go out there and, you, you produce, I think. Uh, I think no matter how old you are, he, uh, he puts you on the ice, and I think that's big. Um, and, you know, so you've arrived in Guelph now. Uh, there's the, you know, the trade midway through the season. Um, and I wonder, even though you did play with a talented group in Guelph, you played under an amazing coach uh, in Ottawa, I wonder, in your uh, draft season, um, do you feel like it might have hurt your stock that uh, – you know, you were traded because I know sometimes it can be difficult to adapt to a new team right away. Or do you feel like it maybe boosted your stock? Yeah, I, d I definitely think it hurt me uh, in the short term. You know, I think, um, you know, seeing myself not in top 60 right now it, and uh, different stuff, uh, different different ranking stuff, not seeing as high as I think I could be potentially. But, you know, I, I think uh, I think the draft is, uh, if you go first or sixth round, you know, it, it gets you a, a foot in the door, right? So it doesn't necessarily mean... Uh, the first rounder is going to make it over you. So I do think that I'm going to be better than some of the second and first rounders that come out, depending where I go. But uh, I think the draft hurt me in the short term. But I think, it'll, or the, not the draft, sorry, the, the trade hurt me in, a lot in the short term. But uh, in the long term, I think it'll really benefit me and you know, help my development and hopefully uh, surprise a lot of people and make someone very happy with their pick. Well, you know, even if it hurts you in the, in the short term, like you said, if you are better than some of the uh, first and second round picks for this draft, uh, someone, when they draft you, has a gem. Yeah, that, that's what I'm hoping for, you know. Like, uh, with all my hard work and stuff, I hope it pays off. And, you know, I hope uh, someone's just uh, really happy with their pick and, you know, people can talk about and uh, be mad at themselves for uh, passing me up in, the, in their order. 
Well, Mike, uh, certainly we wish you the best of luck uh, for, well, it's just a couple of days away now, uh, the yeah. NHL entry draft. Yeah, first of all, you got all, all the butterflies going? Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's been a long time coming out since I, was, since I got in the league. I've been waiting for this day. So the butterflies are going for sure. I'm sure they'll be going that Saturday afternoon when, or Saturday morning when I step into the, the call scene there. I'm sure they'll definitely be running more there. But, uh, you know, it's something I look forward and, and something can't change. So whatever happens, happens. And the... You should be happy uh, you're down there enjoying the experience. Well, and certainly good luck at the NHL entry draft. Um, you know, and uh, I guess all I can say is try to relax <laughs> beforehand. Right. But uh, thanks for coming on the show. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.